Oh, what's that, YouTube? Product placement? Oh, yeah, look at that. So we got some t-shirts, and most of them are pre-sold, but there's a couple left. If you are interested in one, we have mediums and larges. They're 100% cotton, $25, and just DM Good Lifetime on Instagram. We'll get in touch with you, we'll work something out. That's what I wanted to start the video with, but now to five things I hate about my 2007 Subaru Legacy GT. What is up guys, Marco from The Good Lifetime here, and we have my 2007 Subaru Legacy GT Limited. Splurged, who said that? I thought it'd be a good idea to make five things I hate most about this car because everybody knows I love this car and it's the favorite car I've ever owned, but not every single relationship is perfect, so. Five being the thing I hate the least about it, and one being the thing that just, ugh. So, we're gonna get into it. So, some things on this list that I hate about my Legacy, they're gonna be unique to my car, but some of the things are gonna apply to all Legacy GTs, so just bear with me. Number five on the list of things I hate about my car is this back, unpainted, ugly, godforsaken plastic piece that Zuru just put on and said it looked fine. No paint or anything. If you look on this car, there is no other plastic pieces that are not painted. The mirrors are painted, the front bump is painted, the molding dividing the door into two is painted, but no, can't paint this. I would love to know what was going on. You know, I think, I think the back bumper looks good. Well, we're gonna put an unpainted piece of black plastic on the back and send it out. Johnson, you're a genius, Jesus. Promotion. It just, it doesn't make any sense, and it gets me angry. I let it in. Number four on my list is also the back of the car. You can tell this is just the favorite spot of my car already, is my aftermarket exhaust tailpipes do not stick out at all. They actually sit inside the bumper. So the bumper comes here, and the tailpipe comes here, because why would you want people to know you have exhaust? I mean, look at this. Who in the right mind put that on? It doesn't go all the way out. It doesn't look right. And it just sounds so good, but it doesn't look right. So obviously this doesn't apply to a Legacy GT that's off factory with stock exhaust, but this applies to my Legacy GT. And I'm not doing this video off the line. I'm doing it for my car. And who thought it would be a good idea to have exhaust that doesn't come out all the way when you paid the money to have exhaust. Come on! Number three on the list of things I hate about my car, and it's not at the back end, which is a start, is it doesn't have center caps, and that drives me crazy. Because they would look so good with center caps, but no, instead you get to look at the stud. And if that's not the stud, I don't want comments about how that's not the stud. But anyway, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I bought this car with the wheels, with the exhaust. Uh, it had mods on it when I already got it. The wheels were white. I didn't like the white. I classy dipped them gold. I'm in college. I'm broke. Sue me! Anyway. Number two of the things I hate most about the Legacy... It moves to the interior, and I love this interior. It's luxurious on a budget. But the steering wheel did not age well. Now this is, this is a Tulfa. This is a Tulfa. You, you ready for the Tulfa? I'm gonna wait for the car to pass. This is a Tulfa because my Subaru emblem is peeling. That just looks gaudy. I'm sorry, but I'm getting jersey on this. It looks gaudy. Gaudy. So the Subaru's peeling. Partially to my fault because I kind of flicked it and then broke, but... Anyway, the steering wheel is starting to peel. And I don't mean peel like, ah, oh, it's just wearing down normal wear and tear. I mean like I brush my hand against the wheel and there's little wheel flakes on my hand. What kind of scotch bomb car drives with the wheel that's peeling. What schmutz? What schmutz drives around with the wheel like this? I'll tell you what schmutz. This schmutz. This schmutz has a wheel that peels in the beautiful legacy GT that's civilized and luxury and nice, but no, we can't keep the wheel nice. 
Now that's only for my car, unless you're a schmutz too, like I am, and your wheels peeling. But I, I don't know. So the number one thing that I can't stand about my car that boils my blood and grinds my gears. Actually, you know what? It doesn't grind my gears because it's an automatic. Who thought? Oh, thought. Who thought it would be a good idea to put an automatic inside a fun, sporty car? I would have loved to sat in on that meeting with Subaru. Subaru Legacy GT Limited is almost done. What can we do to make it better? Automatic. You got to put an automatic in it and suck the fun right out of the car. Why? You know... My mom, she gets nervous about my blood pressure because I just get so angry at times. But why would you fit an automatic car inside of a 2.5 liter turbocharged fun all-wheel drive car? The thing is a rocket ship. And you know what I have to do when I see people and I want them to know that it's boosted? I'm going to give you a recreation. I have to let off. I can't shift. There's no clutch. And sometimes I press the gas too fast, so it goes. And then it shifts, and I just look like an idiot because I don't know how to drive my car. If you're watching this, jokes aside, why'd you put a five speed automatic transmission in this car? Shifters up here. But nothing replaces a clutch and a manual transmission to just have fun in. This car would just be so much more. And yes, I was the schnook who bought the car, but I love this car, and it's one of the best that I've driven. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Subaru guy. I really do mean it. So if you like this video, and my terrible Jersey Italian mobster angry Wolf of Wall Street dad accent or I don't know I just I got into it and I couldn't stop okay I'm probably gonna be doing this voice for two and a half more days but that's not the point if you like this video and you like my terrible accent subscribe simple as that 34 subscribers and climbing and I've only been really trying at this for a couple months now so you know what it's nice to see progress and thank you for watching if you want a shirt Instagram is linked. DM me. We'll get you a shirt. Live a good lifetime. Thank you.